South by Southwest, you've got some big responsibilities this year because you're playing at the High Times party. True, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I've been talking to Steve Bloom, and you know, I've always been a supporter of High Times, so it's a blessing for sure. And, and I would imagine most of the fans of your music also support High Times. Yeah, so. probably so. Yeah. A lot yeah. of them. <laughs> well, I say they just not getting along well they just not getting along with the guns and suicide bombs well how could this carry on held down by the politicians kept in economic prison what is the solution to all of our problems there will be no oppression from Arkansas, how did you get into this genre of music? Well, you know, my dad is a big reggae fan, and my family, my dad and my uncle, my mom, they all were going to Jamaica before I was born. So it's kind of came from that. You know, my dad had Burning Spear, Bob Marley, Peter Tosh Records, mm. Jimmy Cliff. So I grew up listening to that music. And, you know, of course, you know, the Rolling Stones and the Beatles and all that stuff too, but reggae music is what really stuck out to me because of the message. And it had a lot of answers to the questions I was having as a youth, you know, growing up. And you have questions about, well, who really was Christopher Columbus, you know? Who was, uh, did he really discover America? You know, reggae music kind of gives you a different slant. Yeah. You know, and so that's what made sense to me. You know? And you got to record the album down in Jamaica. Yeah, it was a real, really a nice experience getting to work at Tough Gong Studios and even Big Yard, you know, Shaggy Studio, mm -hmm. really, really great place. You know, lots of, Jamaica is a place where music just flows. And, you know, there's a lot of situations going on every day. There's so many people and so many uh, different artists com combining and so many songs going off that when you get down in there, you just feel it. And the music just, it happens so quick. I mean, we recorded the album in like three days. Well, we say so many paths, only one road to choose if you live for yourself.